Jarvis behind the line. Three, two, one, go. And with that, the charging champions launching those fuel cells into the upper port. Here go the gray bots for the blue alliance. But the red alliance. And the circuit breakers, the friar bots, also scored. But the gray bots able to pick up more fuel cells off the field into the autonomous mode. Oh, metal crafters. They're, they're assaulting. They're going after the production table. And here come the Robo Nerds. Gray bots. Running and picking up, trying to pick up some more power cells in that Blue Alliance sector. And the Charging Champions, the Gray Bots, working in tandem. Robo Nerds pinning the Metal Crafters against the Blue Alliance driver station for a moment. Charging Champions now defending against the Metal Crafters. There's the Circuit Breakers. They take a shot on their upper port, but it doesn't make it, but here's the Charging Champions going through the power generator. They make one out of three. Friar Box trying to take a shot from their own control panel. Charging Champions using that turreted design. Lining up, they're a little short. Oh, still short. Oh, they almost make it into the lower port. With that, 30 seconds left in the match. The Graybots slamming three more power cells into the power port. Here come the Friar Bot and the Circuit Breakers. Circuit Breakers, oh, they're hanging off. Once again, oh, the robot falls. But the Graybots and the Charging Champions both able to hang. While their alliance partners are Robo Nerds, get a few more power cells into the Blue Alliance power port. Scores are in. The Blue Alliance charges that shield to protect her city with a score of 220 to 73. And an extra ranking point for the level switch and two hanging robots.